How many things do you have to be grateful for? There are about a thousand things I can think of just this morning alone. Starting with, I am alive and it's always, always a good thing to be six feet over the ground. I'm Anna Magani and my friend, you are watching your favorite channel that is at Y254, in particular Y in the Morning, the Lydia's Breakfast Show in this here town. At Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is Y in the Morning. So we're about to have a conversation. We are about to, and we're going to focus a little bit on uh, teens. But before we do that, we actually have something a little bit close to our topic of the day. So, very big coincidence, or are we just smart? I don't know. Hashtag is my one. Me to Val or at Kalami Val and everything. And let me allow the guest to introduce herself. Hi. Thank you. Welcome. I'm Kerubo Bogot. I'm the Community Relations Coordinator of Right to Thrive. Um, I'm very passionate about youth, uh, youth empowerment, economic empowerment, teenagers, especially the youth, mm -hmm. and I'm also very passionate about human rights. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about human rights before we get to the youth? Uh, I'm passionate about human rights because um, human rights is something that uh, I'm passionate of because most people, most uh, situations that uh, come about people have to be concerned about what is going on in other people's lives. So just the basic things, the right to food, the right to education. In this world, we take advantage and, um, of, of such small things, but most people don't have it. Just a good example of right to education, right to good health care, right, uh, right to life, and absolutely the right to thrive. Mm -hmm. So I'm very passionate about human beings' growth. I can count at least three stories in this here paper today yes. we have read. Yes. One of them was how students from Mount Kenya University yes. are, a, how to say, <laughs> they are airing their grievances, yes, yes concerning uh, the HELB loan a slash, so as opposed to 45,000 in shillings, yes. they are now reducing to 37. And there's another one I've just said about gender-based violence, right. for especially for women and their mental health. But it's, it's not something we're proud of, yes. and it's probably something we don't talk about, but men get abused too. Definitely. Yeah, so, so <laughs> I'm female, yes? yes, so I get it, but even guys need love too, guys. Somebody organ. I'm an organize. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, not alone. Mm -hmm. When we are together, it's easier to do something. Yeah. Yes. I like that. We, we, we tend to forget the child, child, the boy child for some reason. Mm -hmm. Because the girl child has really been empowered mm -hmm. and the boy child has been forgotten. So I tend to concur with you. We need to, to, to talk more mm -hmm. and involve our young men. Mm -hmm. Just a good example. Uh, in my organization, previously we had an economic empowerment, but coincidentally we would call it women economic empowerment. See life now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, without we were not involving the men. Mm -hmm. So eventually we were like, we are empowering women. What about the young men? What about our boys? What about our fathers? Mm -hmm. And most uh, in an African society, our dads are the breadwinners, right? So we need to also empower mm -hmm. the, the, the men and the boys and the young men. So we decided to incorporate mm -hmm. to, so that we call it a adult economic empowerment. Mm -hmm. So we incorporated the whole family. If we want to break the cycle of poverty, we have to incorporate everyone, mm -hmm. not just the, the mother, mm -hmm. because even the father has to be involved. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that. Yes. See, now we are talking. Yeah. Now we are talking good things. Hashtag Wendemann. Okay, now tell me about youth empowerment mm -hmm. and, and all the things that you're doing to go in that direction all right so um we deal with over 300 students mm -hmm. but right now it's uh, it's so unfortunate that uh, COVID. yeah because of covid and you know we work one-on-one -on -one with the community right so it is way better when when i see you when see the progress and everything so this has been cut short but at least we are using other methods to work with the youth right so we have an a life skills program mm -hmm. with the 300 students mm -hmm. The life skills involves everything that is not taught in school. You know, the, just the basics. You're taught math, English, you're taught Swahili, you're taught science. But the basic things that are not taught in school, sports, um, art, mm -hmm. music, emotional intelligence. Just a quick question. Were you taught how to, to communicate and how to manage your own emotions? 
How do you do that? Bro, let me just even just <laughs> confess. Hai kwa ni confess. Yes. Hai kwa. But now that you've asked me, imagine yeah. I, I, I do not respond to being yelled at. Uh -huh. I, I do not yes. respond. I either just keep quiet, quiet or yes. I cry. Or you cry. I have, the words will not come out of me if you will. I, like, what's the problem? Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so we, we are, there is, I, the, our system is very precise and very rigid to very specific things. Probably in primary school, if someone hurt you or not, you, you'll be like, if, if you told the teacher that she'll be like, uh, go deal with your business, you know. But if you had a question in mathematics, they would really take care of you. Mm -hmm. But now the emotional part, they don't take care of the emotional mm -hmm. part. So that is what we come in as, as professionals to come in and handle the emotional intelligence. We've come to realize that there are so many problems emotionally, mm -hmm. especially from home mentally which are making a student not to perform well mm -hmm. but in real sense he's most probably a bright student or even middle mm -hmm. but tends not to perform well because there are so many emotional problems especially at home mm -hmm. just simple things like a child not getting a meal maybe coming to school when he's hungry, hungry. so how do you expect that child to come and uh, have done homework you will punish him but you don't know the source of the problem uh, simple things like probably their parents are not in good terms so every time it's fighting at night, yeah? so the child doesn't have time to wash the uniform or, you know, just basic things that we take advantage of. But in real sense, they are a very big deal, the emotional and uh, mental part of it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why did you choose to look at this as something to invest in? Because mm -hmm. honestly, yeah. for as long as I can remember, I don't know, come I mean, don't say, but <laughs> for a long time, it wasn't about our emotions. It's yes. for get up and, and go do work. Yes. You, ha you have a problem, okay, go cry yes. as you wash face and the tears will just end and then yes. you wake up and you do what you got to do. Yes. Is it a Western thing because now everyone is talking about mental health? Mental health. Um, it's not a men it is not a Western thing. Neither it, is it African. It's just something that is all over the world. But the Westerners have taken more serious rather than Africans. You know, Africans we are taught to compress our emotions and not show our emotions. You're not allowed to cry if you're having a bad day. You're not allowed to talk to someone. Just a good example of people going for therapy. Very few cases in Kenya, people actually go for therapy. But at times we need the therapy and we need the counseling and we need the mentorship and we need the coaching. But we are taking it up so that uh, people can be more confident in themselves and we have less mental health issues and um, less uh, emotional issues. And the, the thing about uh, dealing with emotional issues is someone tends to be happy. And in this life, what more do we want rather than happiness? Happiness yeah. is something that we are not, we are not even, you know, that, that is an in emotion most people don't have, mm -hmm. just the happiness part of it. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem, we will coach you through it, we will mentor you through it, then eventually you will be happy. If you're supposed to be in class reading, if you're supposed to be going to work or you have a small business, you, you know how to handle the emotions that are come along with the stressful days mm -hmm. each and every day. Say I was a student yes. and you are coaching me, yes. maybe through, you know, emotional intelligence. Definitely. And for example, I, I have a problem that I, it might be too big for me in my head, mm -hmm. but I want to share it. So how do I do that? Okay. So mm -hmm. it will be my example for today. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So. I will, we will want to know your current situation. Mm -hmm. Why are you stressed out? Let's, let's just give an example. Do you want to be an example or I can give an example? Do with me what you right. will. Oh, all right. I am Let canvas. Me, oh, okay. You're, you're, you're a teenager, you're under 18. That, mm -hmm. That's just uh, the prototype. And um, you're, you're, you, you have friends who your mother keeps on telling you, I don't want to see you with this I kind can of relate. friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've been there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Probably the, the, the mother comes and tells us, right, to try. we have a problem with this child, uh, if, if she's supposed to be reading, she's somewhere outside, uh, she, da she comes home late, she comes home drunk, you know, mm -hmm. she, she just has the wrong set of friends. That's what the mother will tell us. And we will want to know where the problem is. So this is the thing. We will want to know the current situation. That is the whole story. So this girl comes back late. She has, she has been seen a couple of times with different boys. She, uh, last week she came home. Um, she came home late while drunk, right? Okay. So what is the? Um, we will sit down with the child and we're like, hey, 
we know that now at, at, at home, it's war, definitely. Because mm -hmm. every time the mom will be complaining, she'll be like, this child, I have a problem with her, I don't want her in my house. You know, it gets to that point. Mm -hmm. Most probably, I want her to go to the grandmother's, such things. So we'll sit down with the child. Now, this is the current situation. And then we will ask the child, what is your desired situation? At times, we, wa we have our answers. We have our own answers. We don't have to answer for you. The child will be like, eh, I'm, I'm trying, I, I don't want, as in the kelele, I don't, every time mom is complaining, every time mom is complaining, mm. what I want is peace. Mm -hmm. mm. That really is me though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, all I want is peace because when mom is complaining, just a good example that you've given me, you'll go cry, you'll not talk it out, right? But has it helped? Not at all, Aki. Not at all. Mm. So we will want to find the uh, obstacles. What, um, I, what is this child, what is making this child do these things? Why did you come home drunk and you know it is forbidden? And anyway, alcohol is over 18. Mm -hmm. Why did you come home drunk? Why are you always seen at the corner with different boys? So um, some of the reasons will be like, hey, I'm doing that because Judy is also doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this because Kerubo is also doing this. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and those are my clique and those are the people that I am, mm -hmm. I am working with. And, um, or I'm doing that because we missed lunch, and when I go to the corner, the boy will buy me a soda mm -hmm. and a cake. That's so innocent. Boy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a very innocent answer. Mm. So probably as a parent, you're not, you, you've never thought to that level, as in you're just like, uh, this child is just disobedient, period, there's nothing. But as a parent yourself, there's no communication. You've not found out why. Is it peer influence? Is it prioritizing? Does she have too much time on her hands? As in, she, she has woken up, she's just, she doesn't have any other thing to do. So if probably she's not a TV person, she'll go outside the house and just chill with other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need to know the obstacle. Where, 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 where is the problem? Why are you doing this? And, she, you know, by the way, children are very innocent. They tell you the truth even, even if someone has wronged or whenever you're showing love, mm -hmm. even if you're disciplining, but you're showing love. Then after, we will try to find the sources of help. Mm -hmm. So I will take you through it again. Mm -hmm. What is the current situation? What is the desired situation? Mm -hmm. The child will be like, maybe I want to change. I want peace in the house. I want this. And probably uh, if there's no food, we want more food. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Then what are the obstacles? These are the obstacles that are making me to do this. Mm -hmm. Now, where, where can we get sources of help? What are the sources of help? Number one, we can have a, but we prefer internal sources of help. Internal being my family or the people around me? No, 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 you no, guys. no, okay. So external, mostly people base it around um, money. Mm -hmm. But internal is all about our feelings, the emotional parts about, uh, the emotional parts of our feelings. So I want peace. How can we come to the peace part of it? So I will start hanging out with these ladies or this young man at the corner so that mom can stop shouting at me, right? I want more love. A mom does not communicate to me. You know, at times that as parents, you go into the house, this is one thing I, I realize. You're also frustrated from outside. You, you, know. bring, mm. you bring all your frustrations at home. <laughs> but I don't think it's, it's something that they want to do. It's just I, a I little bit I, I, concur, I concur with you, mm. but there's, there's also a way that Africans have been brought up in such a way. You need to leave whatever you've been doing outside and come to your home in a loving way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to communicate with your child. So at times it's just simple communication. Mm -hmm. Simple communication breakdown. Okay, what if, yes. what if I relapse or something weird like that? So for example, you, yeah. you've given me all that goodness, we've, yes. we've gone through it, yes. and it's not only equipping me from this particular situation, Definitely. but it's also kind of problem solving for mm -hmm. future use. But now I'm also going home drunk and I'm still under 18, yes. so now what? Do you ever intervene the family directly, call the mom? Yes, so now that is the best part about it. The whole idea is the multi-generational empowerment. That is inclusive of the mother, the father, and the son. So it is more nuclear. Or if, uh, for example, just if a, a, a child is an orphan, the guardian, we will involve them. We will also invo involve the teacher. So this is a very good example. We, well, as we've been working, we've come to realize at times the parent doesn't, the teacher notices something that the parent has not noticed. And the parent notices something that the teacher has not noticed. Mm -hmm. So coincidentally, if the, just imagine if the parent does not communicate to the teacher. So it's as simple as just 
we, we teach basic things like cleanliness. Mm -hmm. Maybe as a mother, you leave at six, come home very late. So the, the teacher will notice this child today did not uh, freshen up. Mm -hmm. You know, su such simple things. The diplomatic. <laughs> yes, <laughs> did not freshen up. So prioritizing also. This child came, has been coming to school, not doing homework. But maybe as a parent, you come home very late, you don't, you don't have to check. You're like, my child is responsible. They, they need to do their their homework, right? Mm -hmm. But the teacher will notice and will call the mom and they'll be like, no, there is a problem here. We need to sort it out because before it goes further. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing multi-generational empowerment since we started. We find the root of the problem and at times a child, a teacher notices that a child has a problem, but eventually we come to realize it is family based. Mm -hmm. So we need to go and talk to the mom. We mm. talk to the mom, yeah, just calmly in a very loving in a, in a very loving way and we come to realize that uh, just simple things like being shouted at are freaking a child out you know wow. things j just simple things like a mom coming from work shouting you know just we tend to calm them calm them down mm -hmm. and so that we, we intervene then there's that family love i really like what you're doing yeah. uh, the youth that is growing right now yes. will be a very firm generation on the on the inside. On the inside, yes. Mimi ni likuwa na skia parents na wazazi wana kutana. Ho! Kwisha mimi. Woo! You know, by the way, um, previously, at a mimi, our generation, it was all about corporal punishment. Mm -hmm. But I know, everything, it would have been, Every time would have been kiboko. There's nothing else. But what if we just decide to change and communicate? I just know, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, just talk about it. Where does the problem come in? Mm -hmm. Where where is the problem? Tell us where the problem is. Then we will we will sort it from the root of the problem. But if you beat me up for for being late today, tomorrow, the next day for a whole year, don't you think that there's a problem somewhere that is making me late? Maybe I have to wake up in the morning, prepare my brothers and sisters, make tea. Why am I late? Mm -hmm. As in, what is it? Where, where, where is the problem? Hmm. So that's the, the problem is where. <laughs> I hope teachers are also listening. Yes. Please, hashtag yes. is why the pointing. If I wanted to be a part of this school or this organization, how would I be able to do that? All right. So, so um, right now we are mostly based in Dagoretti North and Dagoretti South, but we are really looking to expand. You can, um, you can catch our website www.righttothrive.org but the two is number two not t o mm -hmm. yeah, number do you two. have other social media handles yes or? we have oh sorry we have uh, instagram twitter we are on facebook yes we have yes we do um okay again let me just use myself as an example yes. i am um, i i really really value my privacy Definitely. a lot mm -hmm. no a little bit more than some because eh, mm -hmm. to sing in it. so is that guaranteed if I let you in to my home as a, a teenager or an, what's, what's under 18, the word? I'll remember in a minute. Yes. But if I allowed you in my space mm -hmm. and I told you what was going on, mm -hmm. would it be and would it remain a private conversation? Definitely, 100%. We take privacy very seriously. Mm -hmm. We don't want to publicize. We don't want to publicize because we don't want to... It's because we are, we are dealing with children mostly for the youth empowerment, even though there are other programs. We are dealing with children, and their privacy is with utmost due respect. We handle it very well. We handle it between the mom and the parent, the, the parent and the child, and that's it. No more involvement. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, yeah. you hear that? Good news. No Good more news. Involvement with any, anybody right. else. So, our question of the day we're trying yes. to figure out why we are hearing of various, various, various incidents. Yes. In the news, see, yes. why teenagers are being found in clubs. 17 of them have been arrested. Maliburu. Kidogos, Jui, Kura, Nginis, Jui, Alpatikanas, Jui, Wapi. And they're in large numbers, guys, around 20, Jui, 40. And suspiciously then someone's home who is a lot older than they are yes. and they're doing things that the government says you should not do <laughs> when you've not reached a certain age, age right yes so w what's happening I, I know there are people who said many things including one is Uchawi yes. but they're just bored I think they're just bored have we ever had this much free time in our lives you know um, it's been we are, we are in December it's been it's almost it's been more than 10 months, mm -hmm. or more or less 10 months. So if you don't indulge your child into something productive, 
they will definitely do something which is not productive. So just simple things like life skills. Does your child love art? Does she love music? Does she love uh, sports? What does she like apart from social media and TV and everything? Because we've come to realize one of the biggest problems is social media. Mm -hmm. But interestingly, social media has a lot of positivity too. It has a lot of positivity mm -hmm. in social media. But there's also the negative that comes along with it. So there's so much free time. And as parents and as others, just the community, we should indulge uh, youths into something more productive. So they will not have all that time to come up with a plan to go to someone's house and drink the mm -hmm. whole night. Mm -hmm. And they will not have time to come up with a lie so that they can tell the parent and fix them 100% so that they can go to the, to the house and party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, just s simple things like in the morning, a child can do uh, minimal house chores. Then from this period to this period, a child can do artwork. From this period, you can allow social media, but with parental guidance. You know, mm -hmm. you can allow TV, but with parental guidance. Simple things like this. So parents t tend to, for, I, I totally understand that people are busy and everything, but we should look at such things. If, if, if is your, at times you, you've given your child a phone, you're not even too sure whether they have whether they are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, which social media are they using? How are they communicating with others? Is it via WhatsApp? Do you know they are friends? The time that your child lives for three, four hours, just she's like, I'm, I'm just within. Where does she usually go to? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know the parent of the other girl that they walk okay, together? Okay, okay. Do you want not to true. meet my friend's parents? <laughs> Why? Yeah. But can ah. you see the, the importance now? I, I think I get it yeah. now. I think. Yeah. I now think that I is the importance it. because there, there's another girl who disappeared and she and they were like, eh, I know the girl that they were hanging out with, but I don't even know her name. And I'm not too sure where the other girl lives. And you're a parent. Where? Yeah. And, they, and, and the, the thing was that uh, they asked for, they requested that they can have a sleepover, but eventually they went out partying. So if, as a parent, you need to communicate with the other okay. <laughs> parents and know, is it true that they're coming okay, over for a sleepover? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, communication stop. is also key. Let us stop the heart a bit. Yadi, <laughs> ati, ati, I'm going, uh, ati, let's go for a sleepover. Okay, let's yeah. tell our parents we're yes. going to sleepover. Oh, mambi uko kwangu, alafu mina mbe kwa uke, sao, sao, okay, sao. Ah, yes. tone dunda, eh, mm. missing, <laughs> guys, that's the e. Anyway, please be careful out here these yeah. streets, guys. In conclusion, what would you like to tell the viewers? So, um, I would like to tell the viewers that uh, we should be more empathetic, more loving, have a lot of gratitude, uh, more self-aware. You know, like, just simple things like, I, I am aware my child does this. Just the awareness is very, is very key. Mm -hmm. They are more loving and more communicative and everything. I so once confessed on TV how yeah. I used to be very, very judgy when I was younger. Uh -huh. I was going to heaven by myself. <laughs> Alone? Alone. What? Because I was like, I don't want to go to Asha. I don't want to go to Asha. I don't want to go to Asha. That is Rata so funny. Bro. <laughs> ah, me and you, I was going to heaven alone. And uh -huh. then life happened yes. and I was living this life. I did, I think, everything I've ever judged everyone for. Yes. So what that leaves you with is mm -hmm. an open mind. Yes. It leaves you with empathy and compassion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Thank the realization that. that everyone just needs love, love. and kindness. Yes. Just love and kindness. And, yes. and I like to think even if someone is really angry, yes. that there's a there's like a kind of constant anger. Ujamguza, hata ujua metoka hapi. But amejam all the time. Amejam 24-7. <laughs> just, yeah. just love them from far. Of course, I won't be yelled at, but yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be okay. Be Sending you love, love positive it. vibes. But this, this mm. is the same issue. Why are they angry all the time? You know, you, you never, if someone doesn't talk about it, you wouldn't know. Maybe they're stressed out, they're depressed. Ah. 
Yeah, when they are ready to talk, like <laughs> at so all. now that is the kind of work that I do. I need to find out. I need to know <sighs> why. Why are you angry? What is making you angry? Why aren't you having a good day? You have lion heart. Yes. May I can't do that for everyone. My, yes. my head will explode. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, Kerubo, for coming through. You have been very eloquent, if I may say so. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. So much. And one more time, maybe you can give us your personal handles if that's okay with you. All right. So, um, oh, one last thing. Mm -hmm. We're looking to partner with other people just uh, one example of there are women who are starting their businesses they need devices uh, to probably communicate even the youths at home so that if it is previously we will do it one-on-one -on -one. so we're looking to partner with people like Airtel, Safaricom, UNICEF, World Vision those are some of the people that we are looking to partner with and our main handles are uh, our website is www.righttothrive.org Facebook, Right to Thrive, Twitter, Right to Thrive, Instagram, Right to Thrive. Number the two is number two. Yes, number two, not table. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My name is Valentine, or at Kalumi Valentine, you're still watching the Lydia's Breakfast Show in this here town. And I suggest you stay on for the conversation. It might blow your mind away. Hashtag is why in the morning.